Hello all, welcome back to Learning Partner. If you are new, please do subscribe. This is another channel where you can directly connect with me. We have around 1000 plus members already who are working. We take live coding sessions and everything so to just get notified about those sessions. Please do join this group and check out this website also where you can find so many project ideas with live version, proper flow, diagram and APIs and documentation and all. So let's start with the video. Okay, so in this episode, we are going to see what are the project files we have, what is component, just the basic and how React project actually runs. Means which is the first file which execute first, then what is the next file, how the flow happens when it comes to execution. Now, in last episode, we have created one project. So that same project I'm going to follow throughout the series. And that project I will be pushing to uh, GitHub repository also. So you can also have the access, whatever the code I will be doing. Now I have just opened a new VS code. So again, I'm repeating the same process, like how you should open the project. So you have to click on open folder. You just need to go to the drive where you have created. So that was react JS tutorial. And this is my project. So I have to select this folder and click on select folder. Then you can uh, use the NPM start command to run the project. So let's do that also. NPM start. Once you run this command, your project will by default run on localhost for uh, 300 that you can also change, but we will see in the ending of the season, how do we run the particular project on particular port? Fine. Now, let me just zoom a little bit. Now, if you can see, this is the project. When you create an empty project, these are the files you get. So outside, first file I am going to explain is package.json. Now, what is package.json? So in the name itself, we have an entry of packages, like whatever the packages I'm going to use in my React project, those packages entries will be found over here in the dependency section, right? Now, this is a package name and this is its version, package name, version, package name, version. So around seven packages are there, which are by default when we create an empty project. Again, there will be version will be there, project name will be there, then some script section also there. You run, uh, why, when you have to run the application, you type npm start. So when you type start means it is checking start is there on the script or not. And it is actually running this script. If you have to build the project, you need to run npm build, test, npm test, npm eject, like that. So whatever the script you need to run, that should be over here. Then some browser list, development versions and everything is there. Fine. So for now, as a starter, only this is important to you. So whenever someone asks you like, what is package.json? So package.json will contain the entries of the NPM packages or libraries you are going to use in your React project. That will be mentioned over here. Fine. Now, these packages, like from where these packages we are going to use. So whatever the packages you mention over here, those will be downloaded from NPM JS to your node model. So now if you see, we just have a seven packages over here, but in node module, so many packages are there. We don't have that much packages in our package.json. We just have seven packages, but ideally we should have just seven folders over here, but you can see so many folders are there. So we have seven folder over here, but all the packages, whatever you are seeing over here, these are nothing but the dependencies of all these seven packages. To run React project, we need all these packages. That's why you might have seen the images like why node module is so big. Because to run the project, we need so many dependencies. So that is why we have this big node module. So many files are there. Fine. Compiler, React framework, uh, libraries, and so many what not to say. Now, as I said, key uh, package.json will contain all the entries of the packages you are going to use. So these are the default packages. Let's say you have to use the bootstrap. So as I said, like from where you are going to get all the packages from NPM. So let's go to NPM. I will showcase you also like from where we get it. So this is the home site of NPM. Now let's search for this package, react-dom. So this is the package name. Let's try to search it. See, it is there with the same name. Let's check the version also. So latest version is 18.3.1, same we have. Right. So whatever the packages you have over here, those are nothing but present in the NPM library. 
and you are going to install it. Now let's say if you have to install the bootstrap. So what you will do, you can open a new command prompt and you can search bootstrap in the NPM. This is the bootstrap, latest version is 5.3.3. If you have to install bootstrap, what you will do? This is the command NPM I bootstrap I for install. Let's copy it. Now this command we need to run in a new terminal. So just pay attention over here. Once the bootstrap installed, now the bootstrap entry will be added over here. Let's enter. So just pay attention over here. Once the package installed, bootstrap entry will be added. See, bootstrap entry got added with the latest package, whatever we have. And in the node module, let me refresh. You will get the bootstrap folder also. See over here. Now you must have got it like how package.json work. So whatever the packages you are using, all those entries will you will find it over here. Fine. So this is about package.json and node module is like what our libraries downloaded folder will be over here. Then we have public folder package.log.json. I'm not explaining right now. Uh, git ignore is just a file which uh, where you keep all your files and folder which you don't want to push to your repository. Like node module, we don't push. So whatever the files, those uh, these are the files or the folder which you don't want to push to your repository. So those files and folder you will add it over here. Now, next folder is public. So as we said, like React.js is a single page application, correct? So what is that single page? So this is the single page index.html. Okay. So this is that single page HTML, which is responsible to render whole our Angular, uh, sorry, React application. So inside the single page application, you can see we are able to find one div is there, which is having ID rule. Fine. Just remember in index.html, we have a div. Let's close it. And which is having ID rule. Okay. So in public folder, we just have this important file. Then let's go to SRC folder. So SRC stands for source code. So this is the place where we are going to write or where we are going to keep our, all our coding files. Fine. Inside this file, we have so many files, but first file we have to take important is index.js. Let's open index.js. So now in, in index.js, you can see we are selecting an element by document.get element by ID and the, which element we are selecting? The element which is having ID root and this element is present over here. Fine. So now in index.js, we are selecting this ID and we are making this element as a root and inside that root, we are rendering app something this is like something uh tag but it's not a tag it's a component fine <clears throat> now so uh normally uh whenever you try to learn the react react is not that much easy to learn because the way many youtubers or many trainers are uh taking is like but just by going into very deep like how actually react work so what happened in that process how react work and how react element got created and everything that history is very critical to understand so as a fresher if you try to learn everything in the start it gets very hard to understand so rather than my approach will be like i will explain the react whatever the necessary things you need to know that only i will explain but once we are in the safe level where you can understand like yes what is the react you already know but how react actually works that i will explain after a certain number of episodes at least we should have we should have a ground clearance like yeah we know react we know what topics are react how react works basically then i will explain how actually it works fine so for now just follow whatever i'm telling so that it won't be a burden for you it will be easy to understand so for now consider in this is a single page application in that we have a div and this div we are selecting over here index.js we are select we are creating we are making that element as a parent or a root and inside that root we are rendering our first component that is app component fine let's open the app component now so just pay attention in index.html we have div this div we are using in index.js and in index.js we have created the root of our application and in that root we are rendering app component now it will go to the app component so here you can see we get the image edit and some react so this is what we are able to see over here see this is an image 
Let's try to remove this. Let's save. Now you can see we don't get that image. Let's try to get rid of everything. Header and everything. Now as the rule goes, we normally will print something. Welcome to React.js tutorial. Let's save. And once we save, we will be able to see the new thing, whatever we have typed, right? So this is how React work. And again, once you run the project, now many, many people will make the mistake. You don't have to run it again and again. Once you run the project, just pay attention to this tab. If uh, there is no error or something, if there is no error, your application will run fine. So this is my app component. So as we discuss, like what things we are going to discuss, so files, whatever we have, what is public folder and how to react just work. Okay, this is just initial. Actually, how React work is a complete different story. How React element got created. What is JSX? Again, I have not covered JSX. So let me just quickly cover JSX also. So if you see, if someone asks you like, what is component React? So component is nothing but a function in React. So you can see this is just a function, correct? Let's try to create a component of ourselves also. Let's close, let's close. Now in source folder, what I will do, I will create a folder that will have a name components. Now, uh, one more thing. So I have installed an extension. So you can just go to extension. One extension is there that is simple React JS code snippet. React JS code snippet. It is uh, this name you can see. Okay. So React JS code snippet. Do install this extension. Then you will be able to run some command. So I have created this component folder. Just right click on it. We have to create a new file. So whenever you are creating a new component, you just have to give a uh, starting letter with capital. So let's say employee dot js. So this is just an empty js file. Now in this js file, I have to create a component. So I will type rsc. So this rsc will run only if you have that extension installed. This extension should be installed. Otherwise this rsc, you, it won't recognize. So you can see, once I type the RS, it is suggesting something. So if I click on here, see, it has created my component. So this is an empty component. So see what component is, it is just an arrow function. And it is what it is doing. It is returning this function, export default. It is returning this function so that we can use it in another JS. Fine, this is just like module, whatever you know from the JavaScript. We What is module? We, uh, in a function, we can in a JS file, we can create function. And if you want to use that function in another JS, we have to export it. Simple, that is the thing. This is a function and we want to uh, allow other JS file to use this function. So that's why we are exporting it. Fine. Let's write something over here. Let's add a paragraph. This is para. Or let's write welcome. employee page fine in react just everything let's say you need to create uh just a jargon understanding if you want to create a new page you will be creating a new component we don't have as uh, react is a single page application so we, we have a single page only but if you have to create a new page just to separate your code or uh, separate multiple multiple pages so you will be creating multiple components we will see in that detail but coming back to jsx so if you can see here, it is saying like react.jsx.element. So what it is saying, this element employee is an element of React, fine, along with some JSX. So now JSX is a technology which allows us to write HTML-like code into JavaScript. See, it's a JS file, but in JS file, we are able to write the normal HTML way code. So this is possible because of JSX, fine. So this is everything what I wanted to explain in this episode. Project files, how we create the component. Again, we have got this component creation I will be taking in the next episode, which will be detailed one. But for now, just understand what is the uh, purpose of package.json and everything what we have discussed. Now, just the Hindi part. So, we have created the project, how to open the project. Okay. After that, package.json. So, package.json is a file where जो भी पैकेजेस हम रिएक्ट प्रोजेक्ट में यूज करने वाले हैं वो उन जितने भी पैकेजेस हम यूज करेंगे सारों की एंट्री यहां पे रहेगी 
ओके सो यहाँ पे देखो पैकेज का नाम अलॉन्ग विद इट्स वर्जन मतलब ये पैकेज उसका वर्जन और ये सारे पैकेजेस कहा से डाउनलोड हो गए हमारे एनपीएम लाइब्रेरी से ओके okay? यहाँ पे जो भी पैकेजेस है जैसे हमने बुट इंस्टॉल करके देखा बुट जैसे इंस्टॉल किया यहाँ पे एंट्री एड हो गई और नोड मॉडल में उसके उसका फोल्डर भी डाउनलोड हो गया सो so, ये जो सारे पैकेजेस है वो कहा से डाउनलोड हो रहे हैं एनपीएम से फाइन सो पैकेट डॉट जेसन उसके बाद हमारे पास स्क्रिप्ट भी होती है हम खुद के भी स्क्रिप्ट क्रिएट कर सकते हैं बाय डिफॉल्ट ये सारी आती है हम खुद के भी क्रिएट कर सकते हैं उसके बाद पब्लिक फोल्डर सो पब्लिक फोल्डर में जो हमने बोला था कि सिंगल पेज एप्लीकेशन है तो कौन सा सिंगल पेज एप्लीकेशन है ये सिंगल पेज एप्लीकेशन है और यहाँ पे हमारे पास एक डिव है डिव आई रूट सो so, ये डिव है जो रिस्पॉन्सिबल है पूरा अप्लीकेशन रन करने के लिए इस डिव के अंदर हमारा पूरा डायनामिक यू क्रिएट होते जाएगा फाइन सो so, पब्लिक फोल्डर में हमारी ये सिंगल पेज एप्लीकेशन है उसके बाद एसआरसी फोल्डर के अंदर हम एक्चुअली हमारा कोड है सो so, इसमें सबसे पहली फाइल है इंडेक्स डॉट जीएस सो इंडेक्स डॉट जीएस में हम क्या कर रहे हैं ये ड्यू सिलेक्ट कर रहे हैं बाय यूजिंग डॉक्यूमेंट डॉट गेट एलिमेंट बाय डी क्योंकि इसको आईडी दिया था हमने वो एलिमेंट सिलेक्ट किया इस एलिमेंट को मतलब वो ड्यू को हमने क्या किया रूट क्रिएट किया उसको हम बोल रहे हैं कि ये रूट है और उस रूट के अंदर मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ मेरा एप कम्पोनेंट रेंडर करने के लिए भेज रहा हूँ देखो यहाँ पे रेंडर मेथड यूज की है So, उस ड्यू के अंदर मैं मेरा एप कंपोनेंट रेंडर करने के लिए भेज रहा हूँ ठीक है अब ये ऐप कैसे यूज कर रहा हूँ देखो ऊपर इंपोर्ट है तभी मैं यूज कर पा रहा हूँ अब एप कंपोनेंट में जाते हैं सो एप कंपोनेंट में देखो ये नॉर्मल फंक्शन है बट इस ये फंक्शन क्या कर रहा है रिटर्न कर रहा है समथिंग क्या रिटर्न कर रहा है एस फाइन अब ये नॉर्मल फंक्शन है और उसको हमने एक्सपोर्ट किया है दिस इज जस्ट अ मॉडल अगर आपने जावा ने मॉडल पढ़ा है तो ये मॉडल है आपने फंक्शन बनाया और वो फंक्शन को आपने एक्सपोर्ट किया फाइन So, मतलब जहां पे भी मैंने ये फंक्शन कॉल किया तो वहां पे क्या दिखेगा एस क्योंकि ये फंक्शन क्या कर रहा है एस टी रिटर्न कर रहा है इट्स लाइक कॉलिंग अ फंक्शन एंड वॉट एवर दैट फंक्शन इज रिटर्निंग इट विल डिस्प्ले दैट ये फंक्शन एस टी कोड रिटर्न कर रहा है सो so यहाँ पे अगर आपने ये फंक्शन कॉल किया तो वो एस डिस्प्ले करेगा फाइन और जावा के अंदर ये जेएस फाइल और जावा के अंदर हम जो एस का कोड लिख पा रहे हैं ये बिकॉज ऑफ जे एस एक्स सो जे एस एक्स ऐसी टेक्नोलॉजी है जिसके हेल्प से हम जावा स्क्रिप्ट के अंदर एस टी एम एल कोड लाइक सिंटेक्स लिख सकते हैं ठीक है सो दिस इज एवरी थिंग फ्रॉम एपिसोड टू इन नेक्स्ट एपिसोड वी विल स्टार्ट विथ कम्पोनेंट वॉट आर द रूल्स वॉट इज द कम्पोनेंट वॉट टाइप्स ऑफ कम्पोनेंट वे एवरी थिंग वी विल सेट इन डिटेल फाइन सो दो न्यू प्लीज डू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब